Hello everyone, this is Matthew Finn, and this is my Strength Quest presentation. My five selected strengths from the Strength Quest quiz are as follows Intellection, Communication, Context, Futuristic, and Strategic. The first strength that we will discuss is Intellection. People talented in the intellection theme like to exercise the muscles of their brain. They need a mental activity, so they let their thoughts go in many different directions. They are also introspective. They contemplate their own thoughts before taking action. They also like to help others to discover new ways to solve problems. They are in essence a sounding board where others can bounce ideas off of them to enhance their own quality of life. How can intellection be applied to my personal or professional life? Well, I can look at conversations and any situation differently. Others can be involved in that conversation or maybe be involved in that situation and have a totally different aspect on how to view or handle it. I can take those examples and, and include them into my own life to benefit me. I can also find new ways to solve problems. The old saying that you can't teach an old dog a new trick, I think is wrong. You can teach anybody anything. So it's really important for me to be able to incorporate someone else's ideas, thoughts, and actions into solving problems of my own. And it's also important to find time to ponder and reflect on situations. I always think that sitting back and taking time to think before you act is the smartest way to go. The second strength that we will discuss is communication. People talented in the communication theme want their information to captivate the audience. Whether it's their idea, someone else's idea, an event, or a lesson, they want to be able to have the audience act. They also bring their ideas and events vividly to life. Whether this be by hand gestures, facial expressions, they want people to be captivated. They also have the ability to connect with others. Maybe they can't find the words for their own thoughts and feelings, but maybe they can find those words and thoughts for others. And by doing this, they can have a meaningful connection with those people. How can communication be applied to my personal professional life? I like making people comfortable enough to talk to me. I love picking people's brains to see how they think, how they act, how they ponder, how they reflect on everything that life throws at them. I think it's really important to be able to have a nice solid base where people want to communicate with you. I also love pe making people laugh. That is one of my, my, my goals in life is to make everybody laugh at least once. Laughter is the best medicine, I think, for almost any situation. I also like to inspire others to act. I think it's really important to, to build up and to support people, for them to reach their goals, and for also for them to pay it forward, so to speak, so they can help others reach their goals. The third strength that we'll discuss is context. People talented in the context theme value the retrospective viewpoint because that's where they think they will find answers. They also like to look back to understand the present and they are perceptive about what the future will hold for them. How can context be applied to my personal and professional life? By not having the past affect my future. My past is not a very good one, and I decided a long time ago not to have it affect what I want to become as a person today. So I pushed those things aside, focused on school, focused on the things that were important to me, and now I can see how those things will affect my future. I can also understand better why certain things happen. We all can look at our past and even our present and wish that things were different, 
but we can't change those things. The only thing that we can do is learn from those situations and better ourselves. And also by planning better for the future. In the past, I never viewed schooling as something that was very important. Now, in the present, I view it as extremely important. It's one of my main focuses in life right now. And I can see how that will benefit my future. Fourth strength that we'll discuss is futuristic. People talented in the futuristic theme are fascinated by the future and what it holds. They love peering off into the distance. They see the future in a very positive manner. They are visionaries. Their visions of tomorrow can help themselves and others to succeed. How can futuristic be applied to my personal and professional life? By imagining what could and should be. By overlooking the problems or situations of today. I view my schooling as a situation. But I can overlook that situation by seeing what the future holds, by seeing what a new job holds, by seeing what that kind of income can do for me and my family. I can also inspire others to make their dreams into a reality. I can help them imagine what their future holds by doing the things that they need to do in order to achieve that. Fifth and last strength that we will discuss is strategic. People talented in the strategic theme are able to find the best path to take. They can sort through a mess, they can sort through clutter, and they will always find the best route. They see ways to get things done differently that others can't. They have a special perspective, so to speak, on the world. And this outlook allows them to see things differently than others. They're able to see different scenarios. They're always asking, if we did it this way, what would happen? If we did it that way, what would happen? How can strategic be applied to my personal and professional life? By finding the best way to succeed, I am always looking to find the best way to achieve my goals. I think it is very important as a person to do that. By being persistent in any situation. There's the old saying that persistence pays off, and I believe that is very true. In order to get anywhere in life, you need to be persistent. And by becoming a leader, not a follower. I want to lead. I want to be in charge of people. I want to inspire people to grow and to become what everyone should be. You can't do that by being a follower. You can only do that by being a leader. The conclusion to this presentation. After taking the Strength Quest quiz, I was pleasantly surprised to see the five strengths that were picked out for me. I thought all five fit me rather well. I only had reservations on the context theme because I generally don't like to look at the past. My past is not a very good one, but it has shaped me to who I am at present and it will also shape my future. So after doing some research and reading a little bit more into it, I can understand why that theme was picked for me, and I can see how that ties in well with the other five. I will continue to refine these skills in order to make myself a better person, to accomplish all I set out to do, and help those around me to succeed. Thank you.